Now, I want to explain how to use page builder, that same page builder to design your site from beginning to the head. I told you page builder will use it in designing pages of your site. Are you getting me? That is what the work of page builder is for. So whenever you want your page uh, your site page to be so fantastic, to look so good, to look marvelous. Page Builder is the best option for you to use. That's if you are designing websites in WordPress. How do you do that? Come to plugin. You can see here, this is our plugin. Come add new or install. I have already installed my page builder. This BV builder is the one we are going to use. Let me activate it. But to you, you may not see it. You have to go and install it. That is why I have given you the download link on where to get it. So now that you have installed it, what you need to do is to go to page or pages. By default, these are the pages that come with your website. Let me move those on to trash. So you need to click on add new. Once you add new page, then don't worry about this information because this is my first time. Let me add new page. Let me title it some or let me see home page are you getting it that's my home page so the first thing you need to do after you have added that page is to publish publish now when you publish your page you will see this code this is your page code anybody that want to visit that want to visit that your page this is the code they are going to use to visit the page this particular page you want to design if it is post that you publish also it is still the same thing but i will not want you to use this interface the way this one is loading because there's a particular plugin that you're supposed to have installed before i come to this place that is the classic editor if this is the if you are not seeing your own design like this is because you have classic editor so if you don't use classic the classic editor this is how it will be and you may not be able to understand this one if you are not a professional are you getting it so don't worry about it all what you just have to do is look for where you see launch bv builder and click on launch bv builder we want to design our own page and we don't want to use them demo template we don't want to use a complete site demo template at least we want to use some sections that we want to create it ourselves no thanks i don't need it so now when you open your bv builder don't forget that my site is in desktop mode so those that are using desktop, whatever I'm doing here is what you are going to be seeing. Those that are using mobile, it's still the same thing. So this is how it will be. For the first time that you load it, you load it, this is how it will be. Now, in order for us to design this page, we need some informations one you need this plus icon because that is where we are going to be doing a lot of things with that plus icon then we need all these modules rules templates and all of these things those are the things we need to create our website that's modules the modules are the buttons uh everything the buttons the countdown the post color 
what you are going to use to design your website. These are the modules. The rules, how you want a particular section to look like. Do you want it to split into three, into two, into one? And under that rule, we have column. That is this. These are columns here. These are columns. These are columns. We have columns. Then if you check in front of this group, in front of this group, we have pre-built role. This pre-built role, they are roles that have been designed, like frequently used role. Roles that they, they know that you may need them. Like, let's go to lead generation. And see, so you can see that they have already, they have already pre-built something that you can use for something that you can use to get your client what is it called your client uh email these are pre-built are you seeing them so they have already designed them they have that if you want to use them all what you just need to do is to drag it to this particular place just drag it you can see this is already pre-built so if you don't if you don't want to use the demo content you can use this if you come here again you can look for testimony this is testimony galop let me drag it here and let us see how it will look like you can see this is testimony galop and the testimony galop will be loading it is not one the more the testimony are the more it will be loading it will be loading and if you want to edit it, all you just have to do is to come, click on it. Let me cancel this post. You click on it. Then it will open the box for you here. Whatever information you want to type inside. Whatever information. Check here it says. This one says, I, I am H2 section title. That is what is here. I am, I am H2 section title. If I want to change it to. get more let me bring this one up get more content from us save you can see it now the information here has changed are you getting it so the pet builder they have a lot of pre-design that you can use to design your website let me come back here let us go to content you can see content so they have pre-design informations that you can use to make your website look good And that is how you are going to be building the site little by little till you finish it. But you must take note of one thing. You must have what we call your wire framing so that you will understand where you are going when you are designing. It won't be that you will just be adding, adding, adding content when you don't know what you want to actually create. Are you getting it so if you don't want to use all of this one you come here come back to this present table then go to column let us assume that we want to have two column you drag this column you drag it down to where you want it to be now i have two column now you come to modules is it button that i want to use in this column or video let me use button okay let me use video then I want video to be in the second column or the first column. You can see it will tell you where do you want to load the video from. That will be embed. Embed video means video that you copy their link from either WhatsApp, either uh, from 
YouTube to paste to your website. Okay, after the button, what did I want? I want a call to action. Where is call to action button? This is okay. Don't let me use login form. I want a login form. Let me drag it here. Wow. So this is how you are going to design your website. You will discover that I don't have I don't add add color, I don't add anything. This one this one already have color, but I don't add color to other one because they are pre-built and I love them like that. But if I want to add color, how will I do that? You come to that section. Here you will see two box black one and blue one. You see the black box, that one it controls the entire box with all the information in it. Why the blue one control only the box, only the information in that black box? So if I want to expand it, I want this thing, this my information to fill the whole screen of my site. You click on this black box, the settings of this black box from here, you click on the settings here, it's opened for you. Then you come to this white. You can see it says full width or fixed. If I should pick fixed, that one will reduce a little bit, but you may not see it here like this, but it has reduced. It will be in full width. That full width, that one means that everything should fill the whole screen. Are you getting it? If you check some website, website that have background, if you check them very well, you will discover that their background, if that site is load on the screen, you will not see white space beside them. It will have full background. Let me try and load a particular site here. Let's try and use a particular site for example. Okay, let me try and use this one. Let us see if it will load. So I want to use this one to explain what I'm trying to say. So that you will understand what you mean by, okay. If you check this particular top here, you will discover that this black, the black is full from edges to edges. That is what we call full width. There are some that that black will not full, it will start from here to here. That is not full width. That is what we call full width. Like for example, this is an image. We discover that this one is not full. You have some white space at the, at the outside here. There's some white space at the left and at the back. Forget about the top and the down. At the left and at the right. So that that white space shows that this particular image is not in full width. That's what we are talking about. If it is in full width, you will not see this white space at all. Everything will be full. The image will cover the whole left and right. Okay, let me use it like that. So the left and right side will be covered. So when you are talking about the full width, it means that the background will cover both left and right so if you want to edit the background the frame background not the uh the content background now the content information will be edited with the blue box why the frame information will be edited with the black box on this bv builder so once you want to edit the frame background, you come to the settings of that black. Then this is what we give you. Width, full width, content. If you pick content as full, then the work will not look good. So that one will leave it at fixed, like that. Height, 
default. If I should pick full height, let's see, you will discover that there are spaces now. Because of that full height, I have a lot of spaces from top to the down. Because the full height, what it does is that <laughs> your work we the work will be at the middle anyway. That work will be at the middle. Why there will be spaces at the top, there will be space at the top. And that one is not good enough. You will leave it at, you can decide to use minimum. And that minimum, if you are using minimum, you adjust your size here. You adjust your size inside this place. You can see what I'm trying to edit. It's, this is where I'm editing everything. But let's leave it at default. Now you come to background, background gradient. Which of the gradients radia? Color background. The second color. The first color can you see it now i just give it any color that i like so that you would understand what i'm trying to say gradients let me use linear can you see it now we have background now so our work is looking more good little by little Let's come to border. So all these things, I want you to play with them. If I should be, if I should go into details one after the other, you will not be able to, you will not be able to search more yourself. But with this little explanation, I want you to go into details to so know more about it. Now let's come to this advance and see. This is where margin and padding comes in. You know what margin is all about? Padding is all about. If you don't know, let's search here and see what is it, what it does. Use that to do explanation 30. This is also 30. Try to see what is happening to this particular image here. 30. Thirty. Have you seen what margin is on the bottom now? So that margin will give space from the border, from the frame to the test. There will be space between them. That is what will make your work to be okay. If you check before, before I use margin, before I use margin, let me try and edit it. Let me just remove all this thing. So by default, we have 20 margin. So that the work will not look, the work will not look, uh, somehow we have 20. So the work of that margin is to give space to the, sorry, where is the second one? Oh, wow, this is padding rather. The work of that margin, let me use it here, 50. Okay, this is it. The work of that margin is to give space. The margin is to give space between the between this between the top to the frame. You can see that there is a space here. This space you are seeing is a work of margin. It will leave some space from the former sections to the following sec to the next section between here this h2 and this uh blue background 
the space that is there is the work of margin let me try and give this one another one let's say this one is 100 you can see that we have more space between this h2 and this testimony box that is the word of the work of that margin but the work of that pad padding that one affect the inside the inside of that box it affects it so if you use padding there will be space between the test okay let's use it and see by ourselves let's use the bottom let's say this one is 80 and see how it look like you can see now that this box there's there's space between the box and the test you can see we have enough space that is padding margin gives space from the to the whole frame while the padding gives space to the only the information inside so you can decide to use animation how do you want it to load when you load your website fade in wow that is animation i will load my website so i want this one to slide i want it to zoom up these are to load whenever people load your website are you getting it now so those are the things that you are going to play with i'm using my phone to do it you too you can use your phone to do it now we want to change the test you want to change the test color how do you do that you come to the test box which is the blue one the black one controls the entire frame while the blue one controls the test the information inside the frame so come to the settings the test box then come to sorry then come to this item or uh, slider style come to style adding testimony that one has, that's what we want to use now test color of that heading i want it to be blue or uh, the test color rather i want it to be in this color oh, this color is not fine i want it to be in white this is my test color you can see now that i'm having another design that's my test color show arrow no that is these two arrow you can see that the arrow is not there again let's pick here so that i can use it to explain to you these arrows these two arrow i don't want it to show them again i'll click no after that let's come to layout white let me pick white so that one we we still not affect anything but let's just leave it assuming we are using the uh full weed then it will affect now dots all these dots you are seeing here did i need the dot yes color of that dot let me change it to red You can see that all the things I'm doing, they are reflecting, they are reflecting on that particular settings. So this is how you are going to do it. I don't want to go into full details of everything, so I want you also to navigate through it, to see it yourself. So, if you don't want to use demo content, you have your information, you can design your site and do it like this, create everything. So, after you are through with it, just click on Done, then click on Publish. Then you are good to go. People will be able to see 
your site. But using demo content for a beginner is still more easier than all this process. That is why you need to use a team that work with the page builder. And I will still be recommending you to make use of Never Pool. All of you that want to practice out, that want to send your practice practical. If you are not using Never Pool, go back and use Never Pool. Use the one I use in that practical. Use that to practice. Because that Never Pool alone, that Never Team alone, you can use it to design different kind of websites. I'm not trying to advertise it. I'm just telling you, based on these plugins, you can use it to design different types of websites, which is very good and very okay.